Charlotte Hornets have to make some decisions about their future this offseason. Malik Monk and Devontae Graham are both restricted free agents coming into this year's offseason. They have the cap space to bring them back. They just have to decide if that's how they want to lock up their cap space. Devontae Graham, of course, has been a very crucial part of this team the last couple of years. He broke out in the 2019-20 season after a poor rookie season. He broke out, got a ton of minutes in a weak team that really needed someone to step up at the point guard position and he did that averaging 18 points a night and then of course last year he averaged around 15 but the middle balls down the team and his need in this team and his role in this team is definitely reduced and he's now that bench guard and so the question remains do they want to keep him around and or do they want to keep around malik monk also a guard slash forward and play him at small forward, but really he's just a guard to me. He's a true prototypical shooting guard. He goes out, he goes out, and he scores, and he scores well. Does he offer you much outside of that? Not a ton, but he is a very good scorer. He didn't feature that much early on in the season last year, which is why he only played 42 games. But most of those were towards the back end of the season where he got into the lineup. He had some good offensive games, and he really earned his minutes and earned that playing time, averaging close to 12 points per night. But that being said, in my opinion, both of these guys play a very similar role. Devontae Graham is a much better playmaker than Malik Monk, but primarily both of these guys are good scorers off of the bench. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to be off the bench scorers for the rest of their career, whatever team they land on. They're going to be good bench scorers, whether that's the sixth man or seventh man. They're going to be someone who comes in and gets you buckets and can be a good creator for you. They get his own shot off of the bench, which is something that's very valuable. Neither of these guys are great on defense. Devontae Graham, especially with the size. Malik Monk can have moments. Devontae Graham offers a bit more creativity. But his efficiency is a big concern, most certainly. Uh, he shot 37.7% from the field last year, which was only 0.2 percentage points better than his three-point shooting. His three-point shooting is great, but his efficiency from the field definitely requires some work. And Malik Monk shot 40% from the three, a big improvement on his previous season of 28.4%. So he's a better three-point shooter and a better field goal shooter from an efficiency standpoint. And that's something that you got to be looking at as well, because it's fine and dandy if someone can put up 20 points a night, but if they're doing it on 35% efficiency, that's just not what you want. And Graham's efficiency is definitely a question mark regarding Monte Graham. That's my thoughts on each of these players. Well, let's just think about what Charlotte wants. In my opinion, I think Charlotte should only be bringing back one of these players. I think both of them are going to demand too much money to bring them back in terms of how you want to spend your money to construct this team going forward. You still have Terry Rozier under contract for $18 million next season. You still have LaMelo Ball on the roster. Who's been, that's going to be your two starting guards. And then one of these guys I would prefer to have off the bench. I don't think you necessarily want two of these guys off the bench. I think it's a bit of a liability defensively. I think they're best with the ball in their hands. Both Link Monk can play off the ball more so than Devontae Graham. Well, Devontae Graham has shown he can do that as well, but he is better with the ball in his hands and he is more of a creator. But I think it makes more sense to have one really good perimeter score as far as a guard. And then maybe if you want a catch and shoot guy. But I think for the money these guys are going to demand in the open market i think it makes more sense to only retain one both of them are going to want 10 12 plus million anywhere in that 10 to 15 range i think quantic graham may demand a little bit more than malik monk just because he has that creativity the ability but his efficiency is something that worries me and what would scare me to resign him he can score but his efficiency is so poor that i don't really care too much that he can put up a ton of points because it's more so due to the volume than the rate at which he's hitting them down and that's a concern to me and why if I'm the Charlotte Hornets, I would be a bit more interested in keeping Malik Monk. The problem then being, of course, is you lose that creativity. And so you then have to look to get a backup point guard. That can be your creator who can run your offense off of the bench. And if they don't really like what they can see in free agency, then maybe that's why they select to go with Devontae Graham. But I think only one of these two are retained, in my opinion, at least that's what I would do. I think it's just a bit much. It's a lot of money they're going to have locked into guards at that point. They're going to have LaMelo Ball. Of course, he's already making $8 million next season. He's going to have to get an extension at the end of his rookie deal in a few years. You have Terry Rozier at $18 million. Now, his contract does expire in a year. So, I guess that just depends on what they want to do with Terry Rozier. That's the only other scenario in which I see Devontae Graham and Malik Monk coming back. Maybe Terry Rozier gets traded this year. Maybe they trade him on an expiring contract. They try and get a bit of value back for him. And they don't want to re-sign him. 
and they bring back Devontae Graham. He becomes the starting shooting guard alongside LaMelo Ball, and then he can be the smaller guard on defense. LaMelo Ball can guard up a size because he has that length, and then Malik Monk becomes your bench guard. So that is the other scenario for the Charlotte Hornets. They could bring back both and just have two very good bench guards. They could bring back one, have one very good bench guard who's your score, or they could bring back both and trade away Terry Rozier to get value for him and have Devontae Graham or Malik Monk slide into the starting lineup alongside Lamella Ball, and the other becomes your bench guard. These are the scenarios for the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, they have good options. It's always good when you have options. Now, what really just comes down to, is anyone going to throw a ridiculous offer at Devontae Graham or Malik Monk? It's kind of course, and you have to deal with whether you're going to match it or not. But they have options. They have some good young talent on this roster. They have some upside. They have cap space. They only have 81.5 million committed for next season. So cap space is not going to be an issue to bring back these guys if they wish to do so. There's free agents this season outside of Malik Monk and Devonta Graham are Cody Zeller, who if they're going to bring back is going to be on a much lesser contract than the 15.4 million he got paid last year. That's for sure. And outside of that is Bismack Biombo, who again is going to be pretty much a veteran's minimum if they do bring him back. There's no odds they pay him anything more than that. And then Brad Wanamaker would be the same thing. And then that's pretty much it. So they don't really have that much salary that they're going to be bringing back outside of these two. So they definitely have the money to bring them back if they want to. And it gives them options to keep these two, keep one, trade Terry Rozier, develop around these younger players. They have a lot of different options here. And options are good, and I like what Charlotte are building here moving forward with Lamelo, with Gordon Hayward, and with some of the likes of Devontae Graham and Malik Monk. Can't forget about P.J. Washington, Miles Bridges. I like the Charlotte Hornets roster, and I think they have a lot of potential moving forward as they could try to get their first playoff berth. Let me know what you guys think about the Charlotte Hornets moving forward, and if you think they will and should keep Devontae Graham and Malik Monk this offseason, and if we could potentially see a Terry Rozier trade to free up some money and free up some roster space to keep Devontae Graham and Malik Monk both on the roster in preferred roles. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Feel free to leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one.